All right, guys. I'll be right back. Stay put. We're gonna have some fun here in a little bit.
No, not Ron's ugly soup. This is chicken and rice. But, while I was waiting for chicken and rice to heat up, guess what I found? A vacuum gauge. I actually found a real vacuum gauge. It's not mine, but I've had it for years. Mmm. So, now we can actually see how much vacuum it's pulling. Yes, I have. <laughs> the hose is staying on there. Alright, so we're going to do a quick test and find out how much... how much vacuum we got going on here. <laughs> Thanks, Tin Man. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> um, so we're pulling 28, almost 28 centimeters. Oh, that's okay. That's inches HG of vacuum. It's like 27 and three quarter. So now. Let's check each one of these. Hmm, if I can get it off. See if we did any good with with ripping out that other. <laughs> ripping out that other one. Hmm. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Looks like we may have gained like two inches of mercury or I believe that's how it's read. Twenty six and three quarter it's sitting at. Alright, let's try this one. Well, Tin Man, when you do a show that lasts eight hours or something stupid, 
right now it's only like five, then one gets hungry. And so you get the luxury of watching me eat. Hmm. That pump by itself is pulling the same amount. And that one's a little bit stronger. Doubling them up doesn't really help at all. How much vacuum does it pull? Ten man, do you know? Oh, it just high volume. Okay. Yeah, these aren't high volume, but they hold pressure. Or vacuum. right back. I'm back. I keep choking on my food. I have a bad habit of that. All right. For 6.7, 28 and a quarter. So by hooking the two together, we gain three quarters. That's better than nothing, I guess. Hey, you don't know until you try. It does pull a little bit more vacuum, but you're talking like just a little bit. I wonder if I hooked them up the other way, they'd be better, but that tube size is wrong on the other way. Open up this bad boy. Put my other electrodes in it. Titanium electrodes. <clears throat> Hope they fit. <clears throat> I haven't actually tested them.
Let me get a... Oh, this should fit. <coughs> Quarter inch. Now, <coughs> I'm using titanium right now just for pure entertainment. I just want to see what it'll do. So, just so you know. It's for entertainment purposes only at the moment. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> Electro and Tin Man, you guys are in the same country, in case you didn't know, but you're on opposite ends from what I understand. For science. Exactly. <laughs> In the name of science, I will light these random electrodes up. Titanium electrodes sharpened to a point. All right, so <clears throat> the longer I let this sit, we're getting pretty close to, I mean, it, it went up to exactly 28, so I want to see if I can actually get 28 out of this. So, <clears throat> I had a little piece here somewhere. need to get a uh, <clears throat> connector for this. <clears throat> that might work. I'm definitely pulling more vacuum on this gauge here than I was last time because I don't know what it was. Alright, let's get out the high voltage. I'm going for this AC first because it was fun <coughs> and easy to hook up. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm always ready. I'm already under a vacuum. Here we go. Oh, pretty. Ooh, very, very pretty. Very pretty. That's neat. <clears throat> My vacuum went up. Alright, <clears throat> guess I'll make a quick video. other better. Not like that. Come on! Golly. Dirty minded people. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, there you go. Good luck with that. My wife would love it. She always says, Oh, yeah, let's do that. And then, like, you know, she actually sits down and thinks about it. And then, and then she's like, Oh, yeah. Maybe that's not the best idea. <clears throat> Alrighty. Here comes the video feed for me. Whoa! Live show time! If you guys missed it. Sorry. This will be the update, though. So, I'm going to jump right into it. Russ with RWGResearch.com and go. I have decided that I'm thinking if we take two of these pumps <clears throat> for a... These are out of a, that one's actually out of a freezer. That one's actually out of a condensing unit for like uh, getting the water out of the air. And I decided to hook them up in series try to try to make this one pull a vacuum on that one so that we can get an even bigger vacuum. And the longer I let this sit here, I found this vacuum gauge that I borrowed from a friend for now until Jeff gets them to me. This was in my basement actually. I've had it forever. I need to get it back to him. Uh, <clears throat> so we're close to 30 on there. And inside of this chamber today, I'm doing some tests for science only. Mr. Blaine himself has sent me these. These are titanium rods. You can hear it. They're real weird. And they're real light. They don't weigh anything. So I cut it off. I cut them off and stuck them in here. 
and you're not going to be able to see them until I light it up. So, well, you can kind of see it there. So we'll go ahead and light it up. I've got AC, my AC supply with capacitors, and we're going to hook this up. It's, so far, it's been really, really cool looking. So, I'm going to hold this sideways and turn it on now. There you go. So it's it's really cool in there. Look how far back the plasma is going on that electrode. Can't wait to try DC. To get them under a real high vacuum. So if we want to turn the the vacuum pumps off and see what happens, I say we can do that. But you can see the right in the middle there. There's a nice orange glow not in between the electrodes but on the edges of it and those are pointed by the way all the way to a point I machined them to a point yeah that's the AC for you that's really cool <coughs> so let's go ahead and I'll shut the vacuum off and we'll see what it looks like in there oh let's see here I got the vacuum pumps plugged into the power supply that's not real good. I'll plug them all into this other part. Plug them all into this one. Put them all on the same one. Alright. Alright, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this on. Alright guys, so the vacuum is very slowly building up. I'm at 28 right now. So I'm going to pull this vacuum hose off and we're going to watch what happens. Oh wow, look at that. Alright, so we're back to a, a normal nice plasma arc there. And we'll let it build up some vacuum very slowly. It's at close to 29 that's about max so I'm gonna bring that back down to about right in here that was pretty cool looking that looks real cool right there it's about 26 so 20 27 to 28 is whenever it looked really cool there it again. 26, 27, 28, 20, sorry about the camera work, 20, that's right about 29 vacuum right now. That's inches of mercury. So there you go. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> so we will continue on. Try to give the live audience members a peek at that. And uh, we'll get some DC out and see what happens now under a higher vacuum than I had last time, I believe. All right. Be right back. Whoop, whoop. All right. Huh? All right. You guys want to see this or not? Yes or no? Alright. Alright, alright. We'll do it. Come on into the zone. <coughs> See if the camera stays alive. 
plasma. It's a really cool plasma too. Thanks, Hexar! Turn away! Turn away, Hexar! Turn away! And watch what happens when I let a little out. That's at 25, <clears throat> 26, 27, 28, Build up vacuum. I want to see DC with these electrodes. It'd be real cool. Is that pretty good quality for you guys? I mean, it looks great on my screen. Looks like really good quality. But is it really good quality for you? Really? Awesome. Let's compare it to my YouTube videos. Give me a quality. If my YouTube videos are 10, what's this? Pretty good then, huh? Yeah, that's better. I was thinking more like a six. Nine point two. <laughs> uh, seven. That's that's more that's more like it, Hexar. Don't lie. That's a good job. Be honest. <laughs> well, that's cool. At least you guys can see it. I love this camera. It does does really well on close ups and stuff. I really like it. All right, let's get the DC out. We'll just do standard, my regular DC <clears throat> on my little DC supplies that Blaine sent me, and then uh, we'll get out another flyback and hook it up. <clears throat> I still don't know where that other one went. It's around here somewhere. I just need to dig it out because that flyback—that's part of the circuit that I want to hook up. It's part of a flyback type circuit. So, let's see. I'm going to put the AC on the bottom. Not the AC, but the positive potential. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this. In the name of science, this is for pure entertainment only right now. These electrodes, anyway. Now it's blurry. Yeah, because you're too far back. Oh, well. Alright, um... I need to take a few more bites of my food while it's still hot. Mmm, love bow. Love bow. Is this clear to them, man? <laughs> Alright. Oh, Hexar might actually be giggling over there. Nice. <laughs> Mmm. Tastes good to me. Alright. I gotta get some connectors here. Connect up this supply. Alright. 
already. Very low current, high voltage DC. 10,000 volts. And actually, I got an idea I'm going to do. To get more current, I'm going to hook them both up. Alright, here we go. Fire hole. Oh. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, that's real cool. Ah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Check that out. Fireworks in there. And that looks too cool. It's pulling a plasma all the way down to the to the brass, and then when it hits the brass, it's like arcing. Ah, that looks neat. You want to see, don't you? You want to see, don't you? I'll make a video first. Deal with it. All right, here we go. Okay, everyone. 10,000 volt supply, just like last time. Capacitor discharge style. And we've got some pretty cool effects going on right now. Really, really cool effects. Check that out. So we can actually get focused on it. I know you guys are gonna yell at me to just do autofocus, but it doesn't work quite that well. There it goes. It's pulling a plasma all the way to the back. Now, whenever I pull my vacuum off, it goes away real quick. There, I only dropped one inches of mercury. And there's 26 inches of mercury. 27. 28. You can see the lines going through the camera. That's because of the, the frame rates and the discharge rate. So there's 29 right there. <coughs> I think I'm pulling more vacuum with both these pumps hooked up, even though the tests I did doesn't really show that. That is too cool. Looks great. I wonder how hot it's getting. I should check it. Alright, we'll try some more experiments. Alright guys, I'm going to check and see how hot this thing is getting really quickly, because... Last time I used the AC supply, it got hot. Yeah, the the positive electrode is cooler, and the negative electrode that's being plasmatized is pretty warm. But I'll show you guys real quick because you're gonna like this. It looks neat. I'm gonna just. <coughs> I'll break away from some of the vacuum here so you can see it vacuumize, if that's a word. Alright. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> no. Not yet.
it's just auto focused in man, it's all good. <clears throat> yeah, that's DC. That's a 10,000 volt AC supply. So I don't burn out the. Well, I got a big dead spot in my camera now. There we go. I'm using this as a power supply. You see what's in there? There you go. <coughs> That's what it is. Turn that off for a minute. Make one shorter, the other one longer. Well, right now it's just for fun. But if we break down iron, then yes, I will agree with you on that. And you're probably right. So just because we can, I've got two of these. I'm going to hook them up in parallel. Let's see if we can get any better reaction out of it. <laughs> I hope not, Tin Man. Anything can happen. It's a live show. A live show. Anything is possible. They should be in phase. If that's going to be an issue, it shouldn't be now. Just got them both hooked up together. All right, this is twice the current, and uh, basically. Oh, pretty. Very pretty. I don't know if it really helped, but it looks a little more brighter. Kind of looks like it could be a little bit more vibrant now. Hoping I could actually hook up, hook them up in series and get 20,000 volts. I'm afraid if I do that, I'm I'm pretty sure since the one's grounded, I'm not gonna be able to pull that off.
spot. Let's see what happens if I hook these up opposite. See how to phase. But since it's capacitor discharge, it doesn't really matter. Kind of curious if this one's even actually working. It might not be. Let's bypass that one. Try it. Oh yeah, it's working. It's got a totally different effect though. Why is that? Huh. That's weird. Check this out. One supply versus the other has got a totally different effect. I'm putting off like a UV. I wonder if it's how I got my terminals connected. I've got it through a screw that's painted. I wonder if it's pulling some resistance. Some resistance. Some resistance. Alright, let's pull this screw out. Hook it up direct and see if we get a different result. There we go. Nope, same result. Huh, it's kind of weird. Oh, it scared me. Hmm, that might be the key. Get plasma and the discharge going at the same time. Hmm. Cool. That's fun. I guess I'll take some video of that because it's kind of fun. <clears throat> kind of cool looking. Kind of like me. I'm cool looking. Or wait, no, I'm funny looking. No, wait. Maybe I'm both. <clears throat> okay, guys, boys and girls. I decided to hook these up in parallel. You can't really hook them up in series because of how they're set up. So I hooked them up in parallel. And what I wanted to try to do is see if we could possibly get a different result and I've, I've kind of disconnected one and connected the other and check out the results there both of these supplies are the same but but check out the uh, check out how blue and how nice that is okay that's with the one supply and you already saw the other supply now what I did for fun here is if I allow this to spark like that, all right, we get a really cool effect in here. So check it out. Hold on, let it focus. I'm as close as I can get. I'll have to edit this part out. Come on, camera. There it goes. Alright, here we go. Oh. I didn't do anything different. Just pulling more vacuum. Alright, here we go. So it's really throwing off some sparks and stuff in there. Now when I hook it up so they're both in parallel, that's what it looks like. You've got a... There's just one supply. There's one supply, and there's both supplies. More current. A lot more current. But that's real cool right there. See what
what's next. Any thoughts? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? Titanium. Um, there's one thing that I tried to do a while back. Didn't do a very good job. I've got these other supplies over here. They're, I think they're 5,000 volts a piece, 60 milliamps. And last time what I did is tried to hook them all up in parallel or series, and I hooked them all up in series and they just arced to bits and pieces. I mean, I had ridiculous amounts of voltage across them. Magnets for electrodes. Tried that in the past. It was an interesting experiment. I think what I'm going to do is disconnect the capacitor on this other AC supply. Ow, poked me. I mean, I'm going to disconnect the capacitors and hook it up with no capacitors so it's not so violent, basically. And it's more of an arc. And see what kind of results we get. So let's try that first. Okay. Let's hook up my other supply again. I'm thinking it's going to be a different result because a neon sign transformer has a heck of an arc and not a discharge. It's just a plasma arc. So this will be real entertaining. The camera very well might quit. And I'm not going to stand in front of this thing. It kind of scares me. Ready? Here we go. Oh yeah, okay. No worries. I'm going to uh, release some air here. Huh. That's interesting. It wouldn't even arc without the capacitors, which I find rather interesting. Now, a guy by the name of, uh, I think his name's Energy Fabricator on YouTube asked me to stick a magnet next to the chamber while I was, you know, breaking down some material. And he wanted me to see if, uh, by doing that, I could pull the bits and pieces of iron that were flying off when I was using capacitive discharge DC. Uh, see if they would, you know, pull it towards it or not. That would be a good idea. Well, without the capacitor... I'd like to actually hook it up real quick. Like this. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely just a, a lower voltage, but it's the same effect. I'll show you for fun of it. That is AC with the capacitors. That is AC without the capacitors. It's more mellow without the capacitors. It's less voltage. It's rated at 12,000 volts, but when you hook up the capacitors, it rocks up there. It's like way up there. I'm getting very sleepy. Turn this off. I'm 
so sleepy. I really need to get out of my... I need to hook up a... Uh, flyback transformer again. Because that did some really cool stuff. Just had lots of current. I burned it up, actually. Magnets. Try magnets, they say. No, I know. Mm -hmm. I... XR's yawning, too. Is XR yawning, or are you just making fun of me? That's not nice. <laughs> I have a question for everybody. What happens if I would pull a vacuum on one of these um, if what happens if I'd pull this much of a vacuum on one of these cells and then run this kind of voltage through the water? I don't think I can do it with this cell because the walls will collapse. I don't think I can pull that much vacuum. It won't make it. Because if I pulled a vacuum and applied this kind of voltage potential, the problem is is that liquid doesn't expand or contract barely, barely, barely does it at all. Here, let's just hook it up. <laughs> let's just hook it up like this. Without a vacuum. <laughs> Ready? Can you see? Am I in your way? And... Yeah, this will be fun. Didn't do anything. Pretty sure there's distilled water in here. Nothing. I got both of them DC supplies hooked up to that thing. Well, it might not be. I'm just playing now. Yeah, they they do do vacuum. Oh, I'm so surprised. I think I see some tiny bubbles coming out of there. But I sure would think I would see some arcing across that water. I think this is distilled too. That makes a difference. I'm getting a few bubbles. I really don't think I can pull a vacuum. I can try it, but... Because this tube will collapse. Oh, we can try it. some tubes from my generator here. One of these has the right hose on it. There we go. This is probably going to suck in some... This, this isn't going to work at all. It's going to be real funny. Or oh, that's going to happen. This plastic's really cheap. It's not really meant for this, so... Oh! There it goes. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
We'll have to do that whenever we get the the other cells put together. Because that's a bad idea. Oh, you know what? We gotta do Argon now with this, uh... With this setup. Argon time! I'd love to do Hydrogen, but I'm afraid the Sun Gun's gonna blow up my face. I don't want that. Yeah, Argon. Well, that worked for a second or two, that was fine. Whoop whoop! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, Tin Man. You'd love for me to. Shut my garage door all the way. Alrighty. Argon is on. And there we go. And here we go. Man, that makes that arc so much brighter. It's ridiculous. Alright, and I gotta kink this hose. <coughs> so it doesn't pull any more argon in. Ooh, so pretty. didn't really change. The same reaction. It's the same reaction. I don't want to blow up my reactor. I would love to. I still want to hook up this other circuit. Um, but I don't have all the right stuff with me and I'm getting very tired. Because I'm going on like 28 hours of uptime now. It would be real fun to fill this with hydrogen though. Because if you fill it with just hydrogen, there should be no air, but as soon as this chamber starts leaking, you've got some serious problems. Do the hydrogen, they say. Oh boy, I'm going to have to set up some serious shielding. What happens if I blow up my compressor? <laughs> Oh, you guys are killing me. You really are. Really killing me with the hydrogen thing. This stuff scares me a little bit. You know that, right? Really kind of scary. Oh, the hydrogen, they say. Do the hydrogen. Do the hydrogen. Blow up yourself. It'll be fun. You'll enjoy it. And we will, too. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I really am thinking about doing it right now. I'll set up some plexiglass and I'll put my helmet on. And, uh... What the heck? We'll give it a shot. Alright, I got my army helmet on. Yeah. I'm gonna get my thick plastic out here. Some sort of a polycarbonate shielding. You guys are really 
pushy over there. Over there. Really pushy. Awfully pushy. Now how am I supposed to get this to stand up? I just hang it from the ceiling somehow. Here, I got an idea. I'll just slide it on my chair. There we go. Just do it, Russ. You won't die. You'll only be in pain for the next six years. It's just a bottle of hydrogen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If only it was you. All right. I'm really thinking it'll plasmatize really nice. And that will be very entertaining. See, I got my helmet on. I'm ready to go. <laughs> bye bye, silly fan! <laughs> yeah, do it, do it, do it! Oh, it's nice knowing you. Hope you're recording. Hey, you know if I'm recording and I blow my shop up, it's not going to help anything. Because you'll never get to see it. My wife don't know how to upload my videos. She'll be lost. You guys are really, really wanting to see this happen, aren't you? Just for you, I'll do it. I'm only doing it for a very short period of time. It seriously scares the hell out of me. So, let's find some hose. Do it, Russ. You'll be fine. You'll only hurt for the rest of your life. It's just a testicle. You'll be fine. <laughs> uh oh. There goes my shielding. Come back, shielding, come back. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm literally going to like flick the switch for a split second. I'm going to put two safety glasses pairs on. Where are they at? This is my other ones. Alright. All right, now I've got double, double insulation. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fill it up. Then I'm going to close it off. Then I'm going to turn it on. Passing hydrogen through the system. Purging. Now what I'm going to do, unplug the high voltage. Turn the vacuum pump on. Alright, vacuum pump on. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> All right, Mr. Everyone in the camera. I'm doing hydrogen. So, I'm going to bleed some hydrogen into the system under a vacuum. All right. So, I'm purging with hydrogen plugging in the high voltage, turning off the hydrogen, and there we go. I've got plexiglass shielding set up. I can only get so hurt. And three, two, one. It's on. Oh, yeah. Here's what it looks like. Oh, pretty. 
already. It's so red. Still scares the crap out of me. Well, I'm going to turn it off for a minute. There you go. That was with hydrogen. Be right back. Sorry, guys. I got to get myself in the film here. Alright, so I'm doing hydrogen in my chamber. So I've got two pairs of safety glasses, and I'm armored, and I've got, I've got a piece of shielding up. And uh, what I'm going to do is set the camera up real close for you guys and play around with it here. So, here we go. Scared the heck out of me, guys. Add some oxygen. Okay. Thanks a lot, Ted Man. See you later. <laughs> I'll see you in the next round. I'm going to try to get some good footage for you guys. That's what I'm going to do. Let's turn on autofocus. focus I should say. Alright. It was really cool looking while it was pulling the vacuum. But I want to actually play with the in inlet hydrogen side. So I'm going to turn it back on. After I push record. There we go. Turn it back on. Get my manual focus set up here. And then I'm going to introduce some more hydrogen into the system. Alright, so that's hydrogen. Those of you who wanted to see it, there it is. Hydrogen in DC. We got the electrodes the opposite direction now. We got the camera back a little bit further, so it's kind of harder, harder to see, but. I got my manual focus on, trying to get you a little bit better view. So let's introduce some more hydrogen here. All right, I'll shut it back off. It's really red. Like really red. So there you go. There's the hydrogen. Turn it back on autofocus. And the end. I'm done with the hydrogen. Peace. Now what? We're going to try AC? Well, I guess we'll try AC. Oh boy. Thanks, Tin Man, trying to kill me. Add some oxygen with the mix. You'll be fine. It's only a little oxygen. It'll only hurt for a little while. And then after that, you'll be dead. Just do it. Alright. Panels pop.
power supply is not hot. So we'll hook up my AC alright AC capacitor discharge with hydrogen this is fantastic what a good idea I know this stuff shouldn't blow up but it's scaring the piss out of me probably scared the piss out of you too Are you guys ready? Here we go. Okay. So this is AC supply. I probably got to adjust my focus, but this is AC supplied capacitor discharge with hydrogen. Three, two, one. Alright. Get my focus set up. Ooh. All right, I'm going to introduce a little hydrogen, a little more. I don't think there's much in there. Well, it should be full. Ah, pretty. All right, shutting it off. Look at the weird stuff on the camera. The colors. What's up with that? Look at that. It's nothing to do with my camera. That's actually the discharge colors. Some sort of a radiation <laughs> in the gamma spectrum. That was weird looking from, from my camera angle. Alright, I'll introduce a little more. There you go. Brought the vacuum back up. Sit here and watch it. This is hydrogen with AC under a vacuum. Focus back on automatic. Set my shielding down. I think I'll be all right. And that was for first-time test measures. Get a little closer here so we can see what's going on. This thing's getting pretty hot. Feels hot. All right, let's introduce a little more. Oh well, hold on. Introduce a little more hydrogen. I get my camera to stay back up here. All right, let's introduce a little more hydrogen, and then I'm gonna shut it off. It's getting kind of warm, I think. Maybe that's just my camera. All right. Now we watch. camera. Go with. Uh, I have to do autofocus again. Manual lining. There we go. Alright, let's try
try it again. Hydrogen. Turn it back off. And we wait. That's titanium again. Don't forget. Titanium electrodes. Looks like it's spinning. Definitely looks like it's spinning. Well, there it is. You wanted it, you got it. Hydrogen. I'll show the live show real quick, and then I am done with the hydrogen. Ah. All right. Live show, people. I'm going to shut this thing off soon. It's getting hot. It's getting warm. But I'll show you what it looks like. That's hydrogen. Doesn't look much different. It does whenever you... I'll bleed some more in here for you. There you go. And I'll shut it off. Let it charge back up for you. Ten man, here's your turn, buddy. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> you guys have to take turns. Call me. <laughs> There you go, there's AC and hydrogen. You wanted to see it. I, I saw it too. I was curious myself. That's what it looks like. Look how it starts spinning almost. It's real weird. Alright. I think I'm done with this project for the moment. Seeing what I wanted to see. Oh, just a science project. That's just a science project, man. See? It's like my outfit. Just science project. Alright, turning that off because it's probably getting real warm. I'm turning my hydrogen off before I forget my garage explodes tomorrow. Everything's off. Everything's off. Vacuum's off. Taking my three pairs of safety glasses and home it all. <laughs> you used the wipe as a <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's, that's real nice, Electro. At least, you know, you're not having to use your dentist vacuum pump as a vacuum pump. Instead, you get to use your wipe as a vacuum pump. That's, all, that's always helpful. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn this on and disconnect the voltages. See if we can get some of this hydrogen out of here. Oh, uh, well, I got some more things I want to try, but I don't even know what time it is. It's getting late. Hexar's probably going to go to bed soon. 5.30. I'm going to take this chamber apart and see what it looks like. See what kind of goods we got in here. Oh, if I don't throw it on the floor first. Yeah. They're, they're warm, but 
The one's pretty hot, almost. Almost too hot. But it's not too bad. Yawn exercise. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. My lid just popped off. My glue didn't hold very well, I guess. It didn't stick. I figured that would happen eventually. I'll have to re glue it. Get me a new piece of plexiglass, too. Well, it didn't really change a whole lot. I'll get my camera out and show the camera. Yeah, alright guys, so that's what the titanium electrodes look like after they've been through some torture tests. That one actually has quite a bit of yuck on it. This one looks looks a little different even. I'll pop them out of there and see what they look like, see if I can wipe any of that off or not. See if they're hot. Yeah, they're warm. They're warm, but not too bad. Not real bad at all. <laughs> See where the brass was having its turn at it. It's kind of cool. Alright, I'll set these up here. Alright guys, so these used to be nice and uh, shiny. Now you can see they've colored a little. And down here where the brass was at, where it was arcing, you can actually see these weird... That blue stuff was already on there. So you can see this weird uh, burnt marking around there. It's kind of cool. It's where it was sparking real bad. So there you go, that's what they look like. This stuff doesn't really wipe off. I just on there to stay. Whoop whoop! Alright. Titanium electrodes. I'd like to put those in water and see what happens. Maybe I should fill this chamber up with water. Run run some high voltage through it. Pull the top off probably. Oh, yeah! You're shaking over there, aren't you? I just bumped you. Oh, I'll make you real dizzy real fast. Ready? There you go. Like being on a boat. Ba -da -ba -ba, being on a boat. Ba -da -ba -ba. It's like being on a boat. Ba -da -ba -ba. Is that a song? I just made it up, so yes. The answer is yes, that is a song. It's a song. If I want it to be a song. Ugh. There, how's that? Don't make it worse? Let's try to make it worse. Ready? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, no, really? No. Oh, it's not an earthquake. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm being a little bored. I'm getting slap happy. Deal with it. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't find the plastic bag I had these in. Oh, well, we'll just set them over here. Alright, so, again, just for entertainment purposes, sort of trying to learn a little here. Um, I kind of did what I wanted to do. And I had fun. 
I'd really like to still do some more stuff. Let's see if I can get this camera to stay. Oh, 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 I just dropped it. You just fell on the floor. No wonder there's no magnet on it. Don't worry. For science. That's right. Don't worry. You're on the floor. You're safe and sound. There's carpet down there. So I tell my children, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, now, what else could we do today? I got all sorts of stuff I'd like to do today. <laughs> oh, I'm already mad. I'm mad. It's becoming light outside. I want, uh, I want my remote for my air conditioner. I'm freaking hot. I had it off the whole time, or else my breaker would trip. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna tell the rest of the world. What else I did today, quite quickly. So I'll do that real quick. Um, I'm going to make it a separate video, though. So let's see here. Let's get these parts out. Work. You want me to put the <laughs> you want you want me to put the camera in the ceiling fan like while it's running? All right, I'm gonna make this short film here. What's up, everybody? It's gonna be a different video. If you haven't watched the other ones, go watch them. They'll probably be entertaining for you. Yeah. So live show. We're all over there partying, and I wanted to give you a quick little. Uh, show me what I did today. So I brought the uh, brought the lathe out here and turned down a few things I had to finish up on these cells. Um, one thing that I've been thinking about, I did get the holes drilled and I got all the holes drilled in the pipe as well. And all I got to do is do some uh, tapping. Oh, I forgot to cut that one in there yet. I got to do some tapping um, and. All these are drilled, as you can see here. <clears throat> so the next thing to do, well, I'll show you these two. Drill these out, they're not quite 100% finished. Drill these out um, and tap them. You gotta clean them up a little yet. I did drill uh, or tap these out as well. Focus. No, focus up here. There you go. See, I threaded that out. Um, so basically, this is how they're gonna be. And I've got to get the right stuff for this. And that cell is in there right now. And I don't have an O-ring on there. But here's what I've been thinking. If, by chance, any water gets behind the gear, and I know it will, these two electrodes will want to short out. The water between these two electrodes will want to short out if this is not sealed well. So what I decided to do is cut an O-ring between the two inlet electrodes and put my o-ring there. Now the o-ring, the only reason it's there is to hold it in the tube. Like that's it. So I thought, well, should have thought of that beforehand, but I went back and cut them. That was really easy to do. And now I have um, my o-rings in between my electrodes where the, where the connection is going to external. And now there can't be any electricity passed between here. It has to go through the cell. Even if it has to go around the outside and back in, since the bottom one is closest, it's gonna not. It, that won't even be a factor. So for this particular application, you don't want that to happen, and uh, that's how I've resolved the issue. So take note of that. Um, and I've got these sort of upside down than what I originally planned. Um, I originally wanted the other way, but after I drilled them and put them in there, I should have brought everything down to and drilled my holes here or whatever. But it doesn't matter. It still works just fine. So those are threaded in there. And I've got the springs ordered, and I'll have the other parts. I'm going to make those with probably just some bolts. And uh, 
probably will end up drilling a hole in there and I'll show you that when we get when we get to there but uh, I need to drill and do this one I totally missed this entire cell because I had it over there together I'll finish that real quick alright so that's it I just want to give you a quick little update I won't keep you I'm very tired I've been up for way too long working on projects here um, trying to get on my schedule for the week yeah so yes sweet alright I'm out have a good day leave me a comment later oh Alan by the way fan's still there it's still there alright peace guys see ya talking to the camera all you gotta sit there and talk to the camera talk to the you know how weird it is to talk to the camera it's really weird and now I'm gonna have to cut these I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get these out of here and cut them cause I forgot to do it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what I made all these though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I actually cut eleven of them. So I'm good there. The only thing I do is cut this O ring in here real quick. I won't take but a second. And then we can put this one together, everything except for the electrodes. So the only way to get these things in and out of here is a, uh, a broom. And uh, just push it out. Ah, like that. Broomstick. And voila, done. Anybody still there? Are you guys still there? Am I broadcasting? Hello? Are you still there? Oh, oh. hi, Hexar. Are you still awake? You're going to bed soon, aren't you? You'll be out. Nobody loves me. Nobody loves me. I'm seriously like beyond slap happy. All right. This stuff's somewhat still set up. I'm gonna cut this real quick. You know what? I gotta do my depth, depth check my depth again. Actually, no, I don't. I know exactly how far I went on the other ones. All right, we'll just we'll just chuck it. in the middle, plug it in, make the cut, and I'll be done. Ah. Alright. Cherry Rush, you need to drop your live show time on, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here, let me show you a trick. Maybe you could do me a favor and spread the word. But, let me show you a trick. Um, Hexar, post the links to all the past live shows. Just post your channel. <laughs> um, hold on, let me see something here. If you go to this page, Tin Man, Go, you go to this page, okay, and there's a blank spot right now. There's, there's a whole playlist. There's a blank spot right now, Tin Man. It says approximately, and then there's a blank spot. Right in that blank spot, there is normally a timer running. That timer will actually tell you when I'm going live next. And or if I don't fail everyone and don't show up, but that's only when I really don't feel bad. Mmm, gummy love. So, and then also, Awesome Hawk, you've inspired me as well with your your projects going on there. I mean, just vice versa, brother. Now, also, Tin Man, over off to the left, there's a place where it says subscribe to our mailing list. All you have to do is enter your email 
and I will send out emails I will send out emails to anyone on the subscribed list and you will receive an email whenever I'm going live okay you just go to my website and there you go you can tell everybody else to do that though I mean that's what I'm saying get it back in there square then I'll be set um, Tin Man you might be able to somehow attach ah oh yeah perfect attach a link and I'm done you might be able to attach a link Well, you brought, you'd be better off just sending them to my page, having them look at that timer. I mean, if you post the link there, that would be your best bet. What? Who's leaving? Oh. Bye, Hawk. I hope you enjoyed it, brother. I haven't talked to you in a while. Or left you messages or anything, man. Peace. Have fun. You got it, brother. That'll work. I could possibly even make the thread tin, man. Um, but I know how it is. You kind of got your own forms, and I got my own forms. It's funny. All right. So I'm going to put this tube in here. With a broomstick. kind of guide it. But the O-ring wants to kind of stick to the hole, so you gotta be careful with that one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this whole one together. Uh, then it can be done but I don't have yeah if you just mention in your thread tin man that uh, yeah Sharky it'll be a complete unit my friend it'll be the whole thing be ready to go. I'm even going to put fittings on it, but my question to you is, do you want me to put metric fittings on it? Because I've got standard pipe thread threading, but then I can get a standard pipe thread to um, a different size pipe. Alright, what size? I'm doing 3 8 That's my normal size. I'm 3 8 Tin Man, uh, did you hear what I said? Or asked real kindly, actually, is what I did. <laughs> Alright, let's put this together. It's probably over there writing right now. He's got two different computers he always uses. How well this goes in. Oh, yeah. That'll be just fine.
like that. That's the way it's supposed to go. And then put one of these tops on. Those fit tight. There we go. And the bottom. That fits really tight. There we go. Looks better if you spin it. So there you go. They work real well. I'm gonna get these and that's it, it's done. Got all the threading done. All I gotta do is they the guys are machined that accidentally drilled a hole in the bottom. So I'm just gonna put a little plug in there and it'll be just fine. Not really sure why they drilled the hole in the bottom, but 